Hi Cambridge class, everything we will be doing this week in maths will link to the rainforest. And today what we'll be doing is looking at charts and graphs. First of all, imagine if I asked you to draw a graph of the heights of all the plants and trees in 10 metres squared of the Mexican rainforest. So imagine 10 metres squared, the area that's 10 metres squared, it could be, for example, 5 metres by 2 metres, or 2.5 metres by 4 metres. You would need to draw a graph with literally hundreds of bars showing the height of each tree. It simply is not practical. Instead, you could group the data into blocks of 10 metres. So, in that area that's 10 metres squared, how many trees were between 0 and 9 metres tall? 41. So you could do a tally, and then the frequency is the total. How many trees were between 10 metres and 19 metres? 3. How many trees in that area were between 20 and 29 metres tall? 5 and so on. That information could then be put into a bar chart and it's much simpler to see like this. So along the bottom, heights of plants and trees in metres, so 0 to 9 metres, 10 to 19 metres, and up the side, the number of plants and trees that were that tall. So first of all, pause the video and have a go at answering these questions. Which height had the greatest number of plants and trees in? Which height, so these are the heights along the bottom, which of these heights had the greatest number of plants, so which had the tallest bar? And that was the 0 to 9 metre height. How many trees are between 70 and 79 metres tall? So this is the 70 to 79 metres. How many trees were this tall? What I could do is draw a line across or if you had a ruler and the graph in front of you, you could use a ruler. So that's 16 trees. How many trees and plants are 19 metres or less? So this is the heights again. So this is 10 to 19 metres and this is 0 to 9 metres. So 41 were 0 to 9 metres and 3 were 10 to 19 metres. So how many trees or plants are 19 metres or less? So between 0 and 19 metres, 41 plus 3 is 44 trees and plants. Do you think it would be easy to walk around this rainforest? Why or why not? Well, this graph here shows just 10 metres squared of the rainforest. And look at how many trees and plants there are. And if there's 41 trees and plants that are between 0 to 9 metres, just in that small area, Imagine how difficult it would be to walk on the ground. I can't imagine there's much space to walk at all. So I think it would be really, really difficult. Okay, so that was a bar chart, but for continuous data, such as the growth of a child, bar charts shouldn't be used. Instead, a line graph is used, and this is a line graph here. So it's showing that as one child gets older, so the range is along the bottom, how much they grow. So they might be about 60 centimetres when they were born, at three they might be about a metre, and then they're going to keep getting taller as they get along. This here is also a line graph and it shows the height of a tree in the Amazon rainforest in metres. So along the bottom is the age of the tree in years, and up the side is the height in metres. And we've got a table here, but it's got the height of the tree in metres all blanked out. So your first task is to pause the video and draw the table and complete it. To help you out, what I can do is draw the lines going up and across to the axis. So it's a bit easier to see.
Okay, so pause the video while you draw and complete the table. So when the tree was zero, it was zero meters. When it was one, following the line across, it was one meter tall. At age two, it was two meters tall. At age three, it was 10 meters tall. At age four, so follow it across, it was 14 meters tall. Age five, 15 meters. Age six, 29 meters. And age seven, 33 meters. Well done if you got that right. A couple of questions now. How old was the tree when it was eight meters tall? So looking again at this data, when it was eight meters tall, well, I haven't got eight on there, so I've got to think about this. So obviously it's a continuous graph. What I could do is look at eight meters on here. I've changed the color of the line now. Okay. So eight meters tall, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's so about there. And draw a line going down. So I know it was two and a bit, not quite at three, because when it was three years old, it was ten meters. So it was two and a bit, over two and a half, definitely. How old was the tree when it was seventeen meters? So here is my height in meters. Seventeen is about there. Follow it down. And it was five and a bit. So I know it's definitely not six because that was 29 metres. And I know it wasn't exactly just gone five because that was 15 metres. So five metres, uh, five, age five and a little bit more. Now this is your last challenge. Brazil's Amazon rainforest saw a huge jump in the number of fires last year new space agency data suggests. So your challenge is to estimate how many fires there were each year and put the data into a table. So this graph shows the total number of fires between the 1st of January and the 20th of August. And so in 2013, there was this number, and I've just drawn a line across if it's helpful. 2014, drawn a line across, 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. So draw yourself a table showing the year on the left and the number of fires on the right. And what I'll also do is I'll now remove these. If you don't think it's helpful, then you don't need to have them. And if you do think it's helpful, just rewind the video a little bit. Okay, so when you've completed the table, feel free to send it me in an email. Good luck and we'll see you tomorrow.